Michael, could you tell me what was the project here? Um, it's an exhibition curated by Hans Ulrich, Obis, and um, it's a show with myself alongside some of Goya's etchings, with a poem by Nakane, and then there's a film by Usman Sambene, with another second film about Usman Sambene by Mantia Diawara and Ukugi Wationgo. So what do you speak about? It's a, it's a good, I don't speak, I make paintings, you know, you got me doing the wrong thing here. Uh, you're, you're, you know, you're, the, the paintings are there to be looked at. And, you know, what, one thing for me certainly is to be able to show alongside Goya, who's somebody who I, clearly I've stolen a lot from and thought about a lot. Um, and, and this sort of context as well, alongside the work of, of Sam Bene, who again is another for me, critical figure, so someone who's affected how I think about representing my own home, how I think about, um, in a sense, in a very loose sense, the purpose of art, um, and yeah, has, has been fu fundamental to, to me building my own practice. Uh, and there are holes in the canvas here, for example, in this painting, yeah. which is kind of aggressive, no? Yeah, it's it's aggressive and natural. Why or natural? Nat because that's just how the the surface is like that. The surface ah, has it, holes. Ah, yeah, I didn't okay. I didn't necessarily make them like that. And it, it it could be also seen a bit sexual. Sure. Yeah, holes holes can be sexual. Depends what you like. <laughs> but yeah, they certainly can be. And yeah. and uh, on this very special cal canvas, you wrote something oh. about. This lady wanted to get married. Yeah, I can't remember exactly. All she wants is to get married. Yeah. Yes. Why? Um, that's a good question. Um, the you know the painting is called Antigone, and um, I wanted to make something whilst thinking about the legitimizing effect of marriage on women in in my part of the world. In you know. And I was interested in Antigone as a figure who, you know, in myth mythology had used marriage as a form of revolt and resistance. Um, and although she paid the ultimate price, you know, it, it didn't define her in a sense um, to herself. And for me, it was an interesting comparison and character to take into a context at home um, where marriage is an incredibly important part of society and in important part of social progression for, for both men and women. But in this case, I was thinking about women. And in a way, you're a bridge between, between England and uh, what you call your part of the world. Yeah, Kenya. Yeah, you're, you're a bridge between two cultures. Mm, I don't feel quite as stable as a bridge, but I'm somewhere <laughs> between, yeah, yeah, you it's know, true. You know, that bridge to be, to be stable have a, have a special system, right? Yeah, exactly, of exactly. Moving. Yeah, I've only got two legs, unfortunately. I think I need to grow a few more, and then <laughs> I'll be a bit more stable after that. You don't feel as an architecture, but what I want to say is that probably we don't know enough about Kenya. Yeah, I think that's probably the case either way. You know, um, but uh, enough isn't really important, and you know, ultimately these are just stories of people, okay, and things that people go through. And it's it, not a it's not a tourist exercise, of, you know. Sure. It, so it looks yeah. more than an intimate exercise. Well, that would be good. Uh, yeah. And and uh, um, who choose the painting? Um, a, a kind of uh, together, together with uh, with Hans Ulrich and myself. And next step is Basel, right? Yes, yeah, exactly. And what will be the project there? Um, it's it's quite a large show. Um, it's probably my largest body of new work um, that I've made to date. Um, some I've been working on it for the last two and a half years, um, and. Yeah, works through a lot of different themes, different subjects, different ideas. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be about, I think, 15 to 18 new paintings will be there. And is there new techniques too? 
hopefully always yeah hopefully there's always yeah you know that's that's kind of the one of the things that I enjoy about painting is it's always a learning exercise it's always confounding you think you know how to do something and it slaps you in the face and it tells you try again um you know so I, I, I think like for myself that's part of the joy of painting is you're a perpetual student um, and it's a very very humbling exercise to undertake and you know so in that sense I hope there are things that others can identify as well um, an evolution in the thinking and language behind the work and, uh, and you have two studios or one studio? yeah yeah I have two studios one yeah. in London yeah one in London and one in Nairobi Yeah. Merci. Ah, it's a pleasure. Thanks for coming.